Um, could someone please explain to me what's going on? And Susume, uh, sister, I, well, I thought you two, you seem different, so why? It's all simple. When celestials pass from host to host, they take the form of the most closest person they can latch onto. For me, it was Susume at the time. And for Suiji here, it was Gale. Apparently she didn't like her, her accommodations. Please, please, just stop. You don't have to do this. You, you could just stop, please. Why would I want to stop? After all, we are all weapons of war. It's only totally natural that we would fight back against our oppressors, but it's not like that. There's no war. There's no war. So please, just, just stop. I don't want to fight anymore. Well, that's your problem, is it? Not mine. How could you be so selfish? Selfish? What kind of half-assed story is that? I'm simply carrying out my duties for the rest of the world. It's only natural. Besides, it's not like a lowly human would understand. What I understand is that you're right now ignoring the cries of a crying child. And right now, Gale's been, been looking after you time and time again. I may not know that for sure, but I can tell from Susume that her experiences are the same as yours. She stayed and looked after you after every second of her life. How could you be the selfish one? Answer me that, Suiji! I... Be brave, okay? I know we can do this, okay? So hang tight. I'm sure we'll make it out of it soon, I promise. <laughs> you were always, always so kind to me. You were like a sister to me, even though I never had one. You were always there, always there for me, and you're just gonna push me away like that, is that it? Even if you try to push me away now, that doesn't mean that I'll ever stop pushing you away. You were everything to me. You were like a mother to me. Why can't you see that? What they're trying to do. Me, and for you, I just, I don't want to be a weapon of war, because I have too much to live for. So please, just stop it. Stop the fighting. You're like a mother to me, I don't want to see you die. I don't want to leave you. <laughs> you damn brat! <gasps> dare you let this brat tell you what to do? How dare you bring this bastard in here? How dare you? How dare you? in there. No! There's no way! No way! The humans treat me horribly! And so, in order to survive, I had to kill them! I had to kill every last one of them! She still doesn't get it. She's still delusional. I don't know why, but it seems like she's trying to ignore all the truth. Sleigy, please, it's all the truth! I don't want to listen to another one of your lies! You're lying! There's no way that humans will ever treat you nicely! That's why... That's why I'll kill every last one of them! How could you? Gail... She put her heart out for you. I would even go far as to say that she would even die for you. 
and when she put out her heart to you, you just turned her away. She knew that you were the strong half, yet she stood in front of you anyway. Because that's what true courage is all about. But you. Your courage is blinded by delusions of grandeur. Allowing yourself to suffer. I know what suffering feels like from watching both Susume and Kurame. And just like you and Gale, that suffering is bringing you down a dark path. Your delusions are nothing but a cage to Gale. If she doesn't want to see you like this anymore, then I'll just have to snap you out of it. You got it? I've had enough. It's time to end it. You possibly understand? Mortal! No, please! Stop it! <laughs> now do you see that you can't win? <laughs> now I'm going to beat you to death! <laughs> Now, I'll keep pushing you until you die! It's okay, Gail. I'm sure that Shum will be able to get out of this, there's no doubt. Now, it's over! You satisfied yet, you dumbass? Not yet. I must kill the humans. That's enough! That's enough! Stop it now, sweet cheek. I know, it must have been rough for you, growing up with all that pain, watching people treat you so unfairly. But you don't need to hold back the tears anymore, because when you bottle up everything inside, it just, it just makes you more. It just makes you not yourself. so mean. Every last one of them. The way he treated you. I wanted to kill. I wanted to kill every last one of them. I... I... I didn't know what to do. I... I don't even know what to do now! Well, it's true that there are some bad people in the world, but that's because we don't even know them yet. Not all humans are bad, Suiji. They're all good inside. A good majority of them. Just like Shun and Susume here. They risked their lives to help me. And to help you. <laughs> I know that you've been suffering for so long. And I have as well. You and I are on the same boat. I really love you, Suiji. Which is why I don't want to see you suffer anymore. <laughs> I... I'm so sorry. <laughs> I love you too. Okay? Gail! I love you. Did it... Did it work? Yes. 
It did. Gail's mind is completely restored, both in body and in mind. I don't know what to say, but... They did it. They actually did it. Whew. And that was a close one, too. I thought I was going to lose them all. So, what do you think happened? I mean, it took them so long. What happened? Well, uh, we, they were just sitting in mind, and while well, it took a lot longer than expected, I mean, believe me, I really don't know what goes on in there. I do. Big bro? <laughs> And what I can tell you is that Gail's gonna be two times as fine. No, a hundred times fine as she was before. <laughs> Although, I do wonder, what is she dreaming of now? <laughs>